G'day guys, welcome back to another update on my game day squad and the competition we've got running here at True Footy. If you haven't joined it yet, check out the link in the description below. You can sign up to the True Footy League. It's all free. It's just another way of playing fantasy. We've got 103 plays in the league uh, this season as well. So well done to you guys for signing up. Much appreciated. And uh, to start off the video, we're going to go through who's winning the comp, who won last week, and we'll go through my squad. And we've got more packs to open as well. And hopefully we can improve certain aspects of my team, which I think are lacking right now. So in terms of who's winning our league overall, Peanut Butters has been locked to top spot and is considerably higher than the next person as well with 20,553 points. But if I do this, I can check who's winning the uh, the round and that is Plaps. Well done, Plaps. I did give a shout out in the Just The Tips video as well with a monstrous score of 24-28. I did much better this week. I think that's the first time I've breached the 2,000 mark, which is good because of how much I've invested in my team lately to improve. So it's nice to see some improvement. I came 13th this round. And what am I overall? I think I'm ninth. Um, which I'm happy with. Top 10 out of a league of 103, that's good going. So that's, of course, the capped league. We can have a look at the open league as well. And that's Marto's Magicians, who's uh, winning with 21,522 points. Uh, and I'm 12th, which I'm happy with because I play with a team that's under the salary cap. So 12th is not bad. Cool. So now let's have a look at how my team did over the weekend. And a couple of blue, blues here. Like I didn't, I was in Greece last week, as you can tell by this, this tan that I've got starting to look like a Greek person. Um, but I missed things like who didn't play that week. So Adam Trelaw uh, scored a donut because I wasn't on the ball. Um, but that should mean I get Lockie Neal score of 122 there, which I'm happy about. The back line all did pretty well. I've got Nikki Dacos for 133. Uh, that's a great score for a bronze player. They all did pretty well. So the next lowest uh, out of these four was 112. Hunter Clark got 92. That's his average is 96. So to be honest, that's about as much as I could hope for. But that is the part of the back line there that I need to improve, uh, potentially with a silver player or something like that. Midfield was solid. Again, Trelaw was the blow there. Um, but Lockie Neal's 122 hopefully counted. And Clayton Oliver, as you can see, uh, had a particularly good game. 192, in fact, is his second highest score this year. He had 34 touches. So I'm really glad that I got a platinum version of Clayton Oliver because that means, I, as you can see, his average is 139. Um, but I get 180.7 uh, because of the, the premium boost. So what actually is the deal with Adam Trelaw? I need to catch up. Man to stand trial accused of grievous bodily harm. Surely that's not the same Adam Trelaw. It's definitely not. Uh, okay, Adam Trelaw is going to be out for the next fortnight after suffering a hamstring injury. Okay, so that's just me being on holiday and missing something obvious. So who have I got in reserve to replace Adam Trelaw? If we go here... You can see my bench options. So Lockie Whitfield has actually put together a fairly reasonable run of form there um, with 120 last week. Uh, O'Meara had 113. Who's got the best average? That would be Whitfield. But when I first got Whitfield, he was in some pretty indifferent form. So I didn't want to pull the trigger on him. Have I got anyone good down here? I got Tom Mitchell with 108. Maybe I go Tom Mitchell. Nah, I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Oh, uh. Tom Mitchell scored 134 last week. He's probably earned it. Let's go Tom Mitchell into my side for Adam Trelaw. In terms of the rucks, again, English is, uh, you know, trading trading wins with Marshall. I've got a pretty good bench option there in Marshall, but um, this week Marshall did better. So I presume I don't get those points, but I would get the 102 from English. I'm still happy with Tim English at 102. Mind you, the Saints have GWS this week, so Marshall could have a big game again. I have to think about that one. My forward line, as you can see, is where I've really invested, and uh, Errol Golden. Golden, sorry, I always say golden. He had a big week. In fact, that must be his best game for the year. No, second best, of course. He scored 234 because he's a gold player for me last week. Um, and this week, he's almost backed it up with the same thing. He had 39 possessions, two goals, and uh, I get a score of, two, well, it says 221 there, but 220 there. Not too sure. Uh, Rochelle back into form. I think he had, like, what, 30? Oh, sorry, 72 last week? 42. God. Okay, so he was really quiet last week. And he had a goal and 15 touches this weekend. So good for me there. Um, but Mitch Owens had a down week. So this is obviously the Saints just got battered. And they've got GWS this week. So I'll back him in to um, return to that form. But look, if you look at these last few scores, 138, 133, even 154 down here. I'll back him in to return to form. I'm not too concerned about that. In the same way that I did that with Rochelle as well. Connor Rosier, I suppose, had a quiet game. His true score was 94. 
Um, but, you know, he, I'm not going to drop Connor Rosie. He's a gun player. Oscar Allen is the one where I've been burned here a little bit because um, he's a key forward and they're not necessarily going to score that well generally. I think he kicked four against Richmond and he kicked two goals against uh, the Gold Coast Suns. This week they've got Hawthorne. There's a chance that Allen kicks more goals. And to be honest with you, I don't actually have too many good players to replace him with. If we look at my reserve options in terms of my forwards, like Cam Zerha there at 87 is probably the next best bet. Oh, you've got, um, you've got Jason Horn Francis as well. So I'll consider that. The biggest plus for getting Allen out of my team is that it would release some salary cap because he is a gold player. So maybe I'm thinking at some point, I push Allen out of my side when I've got someone else to put into that spot, a bronze player, and then I could potentially add two silver players um, to the rest of my team somewhere else. If you remember last week, I did buy a Braden Campbell gold player. That was a long-term investment, right? I think Campbell has the potential to be a good long-term player. Um, I don't have him in my side yet because it's not worth it for the salary cap point of view, um, but I'm happy with 92. What was his true score? 77. So that was his best game for a number of weeks since I bought him. So obviously a good luck charm. We do have some packs to uh, open as well. Before I even look at the transfer market today, I'm just going to see what um, starter packs I get. They're the free weekly uh, starter packs that you get just for playing. Um, so we're going to open them up. I've got two forward ones and a midfield one by the look. So see if we can replace Oscar Allen with somebody decent. Who have we got here? Jasper Fletcher. Okay, so again, that's probably not going to help me anytime soon, but maybe a good long-term option. Uh, and then who have we got? The other midfielder. The other midfielder is... Carl Amon. Okay, we'll go back to the squad and look soon. Um, and finally, this is the forward, I think. I didn't actually look. Who have we got? Tom Hawkins. Okay, so we'll go back and look at my squad here. So Jasper Fletcher, I've got the forward version, which is interesting. Obviously, hasn't debuted yet, so not really a factor anytime soon. Uh, Carl Amon, how's he gone this year? Bit of a mixed bag. Certainly, as a midfielder, gets nowhere near my best 22, so not a uh, not a big win there. And Tom Hawkins, a uh, great player. Oh, he's got 165 there. That's right, he kicked eight goals a few weeks ago. Um, again, probably not good enough to crack my team and push out Oscar Allen yet. So what I'm looking for is a forward who can probably average over 100 so I can push out Oscar Allen and invest in other parts of my team. What I've been thinking about is potentially a couple of silver level players, but interestingly here in this game, silver players go for more than gold players. And I imagine that's because they cost more in salary cap. Um, but for instance, if I'm looking for, there's a few players on my radar right now that I want to improve my backline with. Sicily, Will Day, and Hayden Young. So if you look here in Hayden Young, uh, who is for sale, you can see that, uh, well, his silver price and his gold price are virtually the same. Uh, obviously, they've got a couple of different uh, buyers there. Oh, there's a platinum Hayden Young. Obviously, you can't afford that in my salary cap at all. Um, but if we go to, say, Sicily, as you can see here, this is a silver James Sicily that goes for eight bucks and then a gold one goes for five bucks. Now I won't lie, I'm very tempted by $5 James Sicily gold because look at his average there, it's 135.6. He's young and he's gonna be consistently good for a long time, I think James Sicily. So that would be a pretty good investment. But if I add James Sicily, I have to take out Oscar Allen and replace him with someone like uh, Cam Zerha or something like that. So I'd probably not actually improve my team in terms of points. But if you go for a silver, let's see how much a silver James Sicily is. See, $8 and $11.80. So it seems that right now the premium players that what everyone wants is silvers. So perhaps I've gone a little bit wrong with my strategy up to this point, but there's still plenty of time to improve that. For now, I'm just gonna chill with my team. I'm not gonna uh, invest through the transfer market this particular week. If there is a juicy you know, silver James Sicily or a Will Day or a Hayden Young coming up uh, in the future, then I'll consider it and I'll, I'll probably push Oscar Allen out of my team as much as that pains me to say because I love the guy. Anyway guys that is my game day squad update. Let me know in the comments how your team's going along. Do you have any advice for me? Obviously I'm kind of fumbling my way through this. Still ninth in the competition. Pretty happy with that for a first timer um, but as always could really use some help. But thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the content guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.